What is up? Ladies and G-words, welcome back to my second channel. This video is in conjunction with a video on my main channel where I teach you some evil and dark and also healthy ways of getting someone obsessed with you. If someone has used that on you, this video is for how to break the obsession. So if you haven't seen my previous video, a little recap, what is it that drives obsession? Besides the manipulative techniques I talked about in the other video, it is primarily the fact that they have something you want. Whether or not you're conscious about it, you need to figure it out. When you figure it out, you can take back your own power. Because I like to talk in anecdotes, I'm gonna give you an example. There was this guy and I knew he did not fit into my mold of what I wanted in a man, yet I was obsessed with him. I would check his stories every day. I would watch what he did. I would watch his following. I was obsessed. And you know why it was? I wanted his life. And I wanted the dream that he represented because he actually planted this seed in my head of our future together. And in the moment, I wouldn't buy it and I would laugh it off. But guess what? He planted that seed and it was there. And that tree was growing and I was watering it, unfortunately. So I had to break free. But once I was able to realize that he had something I wanted, I was then able to give that to myself. And I've talked about this in at least four videos now, but if you want to break his obsession, you need to actually go no contact, stop stalking them, period. That's what I had to do. I hid his stories and you know, I was so obsessed. I would still search up his profile mul multiple times a day and watch his story, even from an incognito browser. And I would do that. My friends were all like, we've never seen you like this. Like this man has put a spell on you. And it's because he did the other manipulation tactics, consciously or unconsciously, in the other video I talked about. Now I'm very, very adamant about it exiting their energy vortex and going into mine. So I don't stalk them anymore. I don't talk to them. I've completely cut them off. I don't need them in my life. And the thing they want, the thing they have, I'm giving it to myself. Also, we get really attached to the illusion of someone. And often it is because they have promised you something, a future maybe, and you are mourning the future that you cannot have with them. For example, my friend, she was talking to this guy and she loved his family and she really wanted a family like that. So she would imagine them being together, going to family events, Christmas together. And when this guy ghosted her, she was not mourning him necessarily, but she was mourning the family, the dream life she could have had. So you need to figure out what is it actually about that person that you're obsessed with? There is something even if you're just like, no, 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 no. He's just like a really great person. He's he's um so funny. She's so pretty. There's something there that's making you obsessed. Whether it is purely psychological and brain chemistry, the manipulation tactics we talked about in the other video, or they do have something you want. And I'm betting it's they have something you want. And it can even look like you just think they would look good with you. They bring you, if you're a man, that woman, she brings you status. She's gorgeous. She, she just looks good with you. You like to talk to her maybe. She has beauty and that's what you want. She has beauty, status, and you want that. Maybe that man has money and stability and that's what you want. In order to take the power back, the ball in your own court, you need to figure out what are your unconscious desires that are making you obsessed with that person. Take your energy back, cut them off. Watch my video on this channel on how to make your energy powerful. And that's when you're going to attract everyone. And guys, if you need help with overcoming obsession and your energy is just scattered everywhere and you can't stop, you need a therapist. You need to build your own garden, babe, and you need to get psychological help. So thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy service. They have over 30,000 licensed therapists in their network ready to help you with whatever you need. All you need to do is fill out a questionnaire and within usually 48 hours, BetterHelp will have matched you to the perfect therapist suited for your needs. If you don't like your therapist because it is like dating, you can simply request a new therapist and then you can choose afterwards which therapist will be best suited to you that's what I did my first therapist was not suited to me at all my second she's great she's the one who helped me overcome depression taught me about like CPTSD nervous system regulation and she helped me uncover all of these childhood patterns and you can do it all from your phone or your computer and after when you've been matched with a therapist you can then schedule a video call call or messaging session with them and what I love is you can also message your therapist whenever you want. And when I went through a really tough time in my life, it was just really great to know that 
I could message her and she was there. So let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist that supports you, all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash Simo to get 10% off your first month of therapy today. I want to add that it's actually incredibly dangerous to make someone obsessed with you and to be obsessed with someone. I mean, there are of course different levels of obsession. We have the stalker level of obsession where, side note, but let's go a little bit deeper into your obsession psychology with stalkers. But why do stalkers get obsessed? Besides them being mentally ill, it's usually because they painted a picture of their life with you and they're living in this delusional reality. Summer McKean, she talked about this. She had a stalker who believed that they were like together. He would send her Valentine's Day gifts and love letters. And I even had a guy messaging me like that. And he thought every single YouTube video I posted was about him. Every story I posted was directed towards him. I never replied to him because I never would entertain it. You can't reply to a stalker. You can't feed into someone's obsession like that. So I blocked them. But again, they're missing something from their life. They see it in your life. And if they're mentally ill, they're going to paint that picture and actually believe it. But an exercise I want you guys to do, think about in what ways you're obsessing over them. Are you excessively checking their activity? Who are they following online? What are they doing? You need to stop. You need to actually cold turkey cut that behavior off. And you need to get a job. You need to get a hobby. You need to bring that energy and focus it onto yourself. Unemployed activities, man. Think about all those hours you spend thinking about them, obsessing over them, manifesting them, that you could spend onto building your own life. Because remember, they have something you want. Have it for yourself. And I bet you that person probably isn't even that great. <laughs> you just make them seem to be really great. If you're obsessed, it's also likely that person has now become a part of your daily routine. So maybe you wake up and you think about them, or you're even when you're mindlessly doing activities, you notice you're doing it thinking like they're a third party observer, which is quite common. Guilty, but you have to notice these behaviors and just cut it off. And it's easier said than done. So when you notice it, actually just go stop. Stop. Or I give this thought to the universe. I give this thought to God. Surrender it. The secret really is just pulling your energy back and focusing on yourself. Like I said, once you figure out what they have that you want, you can entirely focus on bringing that thing into your life. I love this quote. I talk about it a lot recently. Build a beautiful garden and the butterflies are going to come. You might have a dead garden right now. You're attracting wasps and other bugs that you don't want there. You want to attract the butterflies, the bees, and the birds. And you do that by building a beautiful garden yourself. And in that process, you're actually warding off all the people who do not belong in that garden. If you have a garden that's rotten and moldy and not taken care of, you're going to attract rats and flies, right? Because they're attracted to the dirt and the dust and everything gross. You're not going to get a butterfly who wants to go into that garden. But if you now have a beautiful garden, is that rat going to want to come into there? There's nothing for them to even eat. There's no rotten food. You're warding them off naturally, which is why the best protection for manipulation for also becoming obsessed with another person is simply by working on your own garden and building that. And if you guys just implemented that, you wouldn't have to watch any of these videos as well. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to watch the manipulation video on my main channel and let's get you over that person and protect you from manipulators and da 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 da, et cetera,